Rest assured, all is quiet here in Chingsa Village. Chang Yun is guarding the outside, and I'm guarding the inside. Not a problem in sight. Good. I've made some progress in my investigation as well. Oh? What are you planning? Is it time to strike? Let's go! Traveler, Paimon, you are just in time. I looked everywhere and I found some clues regarding the treasure hoarders. Besides wagon tracks, I also came across bits and pieces of fireworks packaging scattered on the road. Following those clues, I was able to finally locate the missing fireworks. But there was no sign of treasure hoarders. No, I think they might be just overly careless. I seem to have found the location where they've been stashing all their stolen goods. They must have thought it was well hidden and deemed it unnecessary to post any guards. The amount of fireworks they've amassed there is astonishing. Not only did they steal the ones in Chingsa Village, but also from other locations too. They've gathered all the stolen goods there. I've asked the Mililith on guard at Chingsa Village to report this to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. They will organize a search around that warehouse. Now that the Mililith is involved, you don't need to handle this yourself anymore! The treasure hoarders are notoriously cunning, and they may even have lookouts. If they notice anything suspicious, they will move the fireworks and our single lead will be lost. I have to keep an eye on the situation. Uh, you're not really thinking that you can take all of them yourself, are you? No, I am not that reckless. I just want to investigate the case thoroughly. But now that I have your help, the idea is feasible. So you really are considering it? Okay, then there's no time to lose. Let's go. Though they are merely a group of irksome bandits. Please, exercise caution. Please hide yourselves. Let's wait and see what happens. Hey boss, you think we have enough fireworks now? Ha! <laughs> Are you kidding? This ain't nowhere near enough. Ah, uh, but boss, if we want more fireworks, we're gonna have to steal them in the city. Ain't gonna be easy. Hmm. You got a point. All right, then we steal those things that make a real loud bang but don't light up real pretty. What do they call them? Ah, yeah, firecrackers. Those will do the job. All we need to do is make some real ruckus. As long as we distract the Millilith, the other hoarders can do their end of the job. You get it? Got it, boss. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. We're gonna hit the jackpot this time. Uh, but, uh, boss... All our boys are out scouting around. Don't you think we need a few more to guard the stash? Hey, don't worry about it. The Millilith are swamped with lantern right. They won't have time to come out here. All right, move it, boys. Just a few more batches and we'll be... Uh-oh. Hey, boss, we got trouble. Huh? What happened? The jig is up, boss. The, the Millilith are coming, and it seems they've already caught our scouts. If one of the boys hadn't set off a firework to warn us, we would have been completely blindsided. Boss, let's run! But how did the Millilith find out about us? And so quickly, too! Ah, fine! Leave the fireworks and let's split! They won't be catching us! It's time to make our move. Ready? Let's go! Drop your weapons and surrender immediately! Ha! Get out of my way! You got a death witch or something? I'll show you! Huh? Wait a second. You're... Lady Kutchin! 
the funeral. <laughs> so you do recognize me then? I'll say it one more time. Drop your weapon and surrender. Now! Who would have thought we'd run into the Yuho all the way out here? All right, hoarders. Looks like the Yuho wants to play. We'll show you. Get him! <laughs> Nowhere to hide. I'll be fine. Speed of light! Cut to the chase! Right, so you want to do this the hard way. We we surrender, Yu Hong. Now, I want some answers. What were you planning to do with the stockpile of fireworks? We we just Tell the truth, and I might go easy on you. We uh, fine. We were gonna smuggle these fireworks into the city and ignite them during the Lantern Rite's opening ceremony. The fireworks are really bright and loud and would definitely raise some havoc. We were gonna rob the city while everyone's distracted by the explosions. But, uh, we didn't seem to have enough fireworks, so... Oh? So you mean you had more than one group of thieves stealing fireworks? Yeah, that's right. Originally, I had all the hoarders out stealing fireworks, but then one of them got caught by the Feiyun Commerce Guild and was arrested. I really didn't get it. Why did the Feiyun Commerce Guild get involved? We were only stealing from the government. No, uh, what I meant is, uh, well, I was worried that the guy who got arrested would rat us out. Who would have guessed we'd end up running into you like that? Hey! The Millilith were coming too? Yeah, that's right. I wonder how the Millilith even found out we had dispatched scouts. They somehow captured almost all of them. If someone hadn't alerted us, we would have all been caught. Well, you did get caught. Well, uh. Yeah. It appears that the Millilith managed to get the captured treasure hoarder to talk. There may still be other treasure hoarders in the area. We should head elsewhere just to be safe. Traveler, please escort the treasure hoarders back to Chingsa Village and hand them over to the Millilith stationed there. I'll be there once I am finished inspecting this place. Yes, you too. I'll see you in Chingsa Village. This is the last batch of fireworks that I can get. Please ensure that there will be no further problems. Don't worry. The Yu Hong will be taking care of this personally. And with us on guard, I assure you it'll be safe. Yes, indeed. Oh, it appears the Traveler has returned. And with two others, no doubt. It's definitely dangerous to infiltrate an enemy area like that. If only I was there to fight alongside you. Come now. We both know the Traveler is most capable. <laughs> but who would have known we performed such a noble deed? We had arrested the treasure hoarder earlier by mere happenstance. Yeah, talk about a coincidence. It seems that justice always finds its way into the world. It is in fateful moments that miracles are born. So it was you! You horrible brutes are the ones who stole the fireworks? Just the sight of you two makes my blood boil. Please, 
Calm down. I doubt they'll be causing any more trouble now that they're in custody. Thank you very much, Traveler. But may I ask, why has Lady Kuching not returned with you? Lady Kuching was worried there'd be more treasure hoarders lurking about. She wanted to conduct a full search of the area. Oh, I see. Yes, Lady Kuching is quite thorough. A squad of Millilith came by just now. I believe they were sent by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I also heard that most of the fleeing treasure hoarders have already been apprehended. Hopefully that will be the end of this matter. Anyway, you may leave these treasure hoarders to us. I will escort them back to the city and make sure they stand trial with the others. And thus, our chapter has finally reached its timely conclusion. I am partial to fireworks myself, but I'm afraid we must also be leaving now. Huh? Why the hurry to get back to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Oh, don't tell us you have work to do, too! Inevitably, affairs do become busier around festive seasons. But no need to worry. We have many attendants to assist us. And there's always Chongyun, too. Huh? You mean you're assigning more work to me? Tis only my duty as your dearest friend. Work before play, as they say. I'm sure you understand. Oh, alright. I suppose. As the saying goes, many hands make light work. As long as work is assigned to the right people, everything will proceed without a hitch. If you ask me, I think speaking eloquently is just a guise for assigning work to everybody else. All right, all right. I shall treat you to a meal after the work is done. Farewell, traveler. By the way, do you know when Lady Kuching will be back, Traveler? There are not many fireworks in the second batch that I brought, so I'm worried that we can't achieve the show's desired effect. I was hoping we could somehow retrieve the stolen fireworks. Hey! Did you hear that explosion? Maybe it was fireworks. <gasps> or maybe more treasure orders! Let's go and help her! Treasure hoarders. We heard an explosion and thought it might be treasure hoarders sending signals to one another again. Ah, uh, I see. Sorry, that's not the case. I saw a few sticks of fireworks on the ground, so I fiddled with them and... Sure enough, it seems... I accidentally lit the fuse. Before I could react, the fireworks were... <clears throat> already up in the air. So no enemies? Well, that's good. We thought you might have been surrounded by bad guys! <laughs> I apologize. I didn't mean to alarm you. Fortunately, there are no more treasure hoarders in the area. It seems this matter has finally come to an end. Great! The case of the stolen fireworks is finally solved! Good thing we were able to get to the bottom of it! Otherwise, those beautiful fireworks would have gone to waste and the whole show would be ruined! By the way, Kuching, you're the one in charge of the fireworks show, which means you know the best viewing spot, right? Yes, of course. The best view should be from the Jade Chamber. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten my promise. But first, I have to drop by the Ministry of Civil Affairs and close this case. Leave the rest of this to me. You've already been a great help. Why don't you go for a walk around the city and I'll meet you when I'm done? Okay, but we'll be waiting for you! Yes, I'll be there. <sighs> Kuching really is super- 
super busy. I'll meet you when I am done. How many times have we heard that already? Now Paimon gets why Lady Ningguang is so worried about Kuching. If she keeps working like this, she really will miss the lantern right. Oh, yeah! We said we would meet him! And we've even collected a few opinions about taking a rest from work. Zhang Li said he'd wait for us at third round knockout. Let's go find him! Hey! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? Yes, you are quite right. I shall take your wise words to heart, sir. They will certainly be most helpful in my next performance. You are welcome, Miss Yun. Your willingness to hear suggestions is indeed impressive. It's no wonder your opera performance has only been getting better. No, I'm afraid that's not always the case. Though I am still young, I can be quite arrogant at times. I do not always accept advice so readily, but your wisdom has spoken to me. Zhang Li! We're back! Ah, you've returned. Hmm? You are also acquaintances? Yes, we sure are! Not everyone gets the privilege of meeting someone so knowledgeable and discreet as Mr. Zhang Li. You are indeed well-connected, traveler. I am flattered, Miss Yun. It is an honor for an ordinary person like myself to have met the Traveler. Wow. Did he really just say that? I'm sure you must have matters to discuss. I have an appointment with Xinyan, so if you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Yun. See you around, Yunjin! So, tell me. What have you learned from your trip? Hmm, I see. Well, Traveler, what do you make of all their opinions? Yeah! Paimon already started creating her own story on the way here. The goal is to convince Kuching to rest more with just a simple story, right? If that's the case, then Paimon thinks we can use food as our theme. Think about it. Who doesn't like delicious food? And when it comes to eating, everyone has an opinion. It's the perfect angle for our story. <laughs> Paimon knows just what to write. Let's say there's a chef in Lua who's very talented at cooking. He opens a massive restaurant at Liyue Harbor, and lots of customers come every day, so he's always super busy! Then... Uh, well... Uh, how should the story go from there? Ooh, that's good! Uh, but wait, didn't we say he's really good at cooking? That wouldn't make sense. There's no need to jump to the conclusion. Why don't you elaborate more on the chef? More about the chef? You mean both good and bad things? Yes. To gain one's empathy, there must be familiarity. I would like to understand this chef character of ours a little deeper. Hmm. Paimon didn't think this far. Uh, why don't you take it from here? Since you've spoken with others familiar with Kuching, why don't we integrate their thoughts into your story? That will allow it to become all the more convincing. Um, okay. Let Paimon think. Hmm, what did Cloud Retainer say? As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. <laughs> That was quite poetic, Paimon. Bravo! <laughs> oh, now Paimon remembers? Cloud Retainer said that if she spends all her efforts working on a machine with no time to test the outcome, 
And she'd be like a chef who doesn't get to try their own food. Problems are bound to pop up. Yes, it is most unwise to put the cart before the horse. Uh-huh, that's exactly what she said. So, let's make that happen to the chef in the story. He's great at cooking, but he can't enjoy his own food. Hmm. But there must be a reason why he doesn't partake in the delicacies he makes. Right! It's because he's super busy! He receives the customers, he takes the orders, and he does all the cooking himself. <laughs> that should keep him busy enough. He's so busy every day that he doesn't even have time to take a break, which obviously also means he doesn't have time to eat! Hey, it's just a story. Besides, it's supposed to leave a powerful impression. Kind of like fireworks. Yes. The chef is unwilling to delegate tasks to others. He's overconfident about his own cooking abilities and tries to accomplish everything on his own. Paimon already kind of feels sorry for him. Oh, right! That's what the chef doesn't understand. And... There's another saying. Um, what was it again? Oh, yeah! A rested worker is an efficient worker. That's what Yampi said. So, the chef gets busier and busier to the point where he can't stand up straight anymore and he has big, dark circles under his eyes. The customers tell him to take a few days off to get some rest. But the chef won't listen! His judgment is clouded by the chores before him. He is oblivious to mountains in the distance, the bigger picture. Eventually, the chef falls ill, and his cooking becomes far worse than when he started. The customers can't convince him to rest, and they don't like his cooking anymore. So they stop coming to his restaurant. Rest is always of great importance. Although we may come across various difficulties in our lives, pushing ourselves is never a good modus operandi. The story is quite simple, without embellishment, yet deeply meaningful. If our listener is sensible, then she should quickly grasp the meaning contained within. You're saying Paimon made a good story? Sincerity can allow one to see clearly and earnest advice can provide sound direction. The story is indeed good. The Yuhang is an adroit leader. I am certain she will understand the message you are trying to convey. Really? Score one for Paimon! Given that the case involving the treasure hoarders has come to an end, she is inevitably tired. Now will be the ideal moment to speak with her. If all goes well, I think your story will be a success. Hear that? Zhang Li says Paimon's story has what it takes. If anyone knows a good story, he does. Quick, let's go find Kuching. I wish you luck, traveler. Next on the agenda... The matter has finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kuching. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. Okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching? Your friends are here. Hi, Kuching! Still working? Aren't we going to see the fireworks? 
Oh, yes. But I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. Why have you come here? Yeah! We walked around the city just like you told us to. It's very nice. But it would be even nicer if you could join us. Do you still have work to do? It's nothing urgent, really. Just some trivial matters. But I wish to get it done as soon as possible. You can leave it to us, Lady Kuching. You've been working hard for a long time, so you should get some rest. If I'm not mistaken, the Traveler is here to remind you to take a break. That's right! Something so important that we must speak with you personally, right now! Oh, really? In that case... Jingcheng, I'll let you take charge. Thank you. Understood. I'll handle things from here. <sighs> Traveler and Paimon, let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is nicer, and it's much more private. Perfect for talking. Well, here we are. What was it you wanted to talk about? Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right, I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news in Tevat. A very talented chef is in trouble. Oh, is the chef from Liyue? From Liuli Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no, uh, the chef is from Mondstadt, yeah, and he's really, really good. He had a restaurant right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious, so his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the florist next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? But the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top quality ingredients into world-class dishes. No one could help him. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine in his restaurant anymore. Hmm? Huh? Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm... Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or...? Eh! Wrong answer! You tell her, Traveler! Yep, it's because the chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help, even when he's tired, because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway, so they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so, that's the whole story? Oh, um, yep, that's the whole thing. Did you come up with that story? Oh, uh, no, we just... Uh... <laughs> hmm. 
How should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. Think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but... When tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. Yes. Up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why, from time to time, we need to examine where we are, remove the fog, and feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm... Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city, see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And... I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So... Happy Lantern Rite, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks and enjoying the view of Liyue Harbor. Happy Lantern Right. <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite, and thank you. Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. Uh, traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Must be something important. Ningguang had her personal tailor make it for me, said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's Lantern Rite. The fireworks show. Check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one. No 
better way to celebrate. <laughs> Dr. Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Oh, lantern right. <laughs> Happy lantern right. What did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. Really? I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. There's a lot to see, but it won't last, so make the most of it. <sighs> if only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make the city look special during the festival. <laughs> <laughs>